Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video basically is going to be the first of five or six videos uh, concerning my computer uh, build log, which I'm going to call a video log in this case. Um, essentially what I'm going to do for this first video is I'm going to talk about all the computer parts I currently have, how, what my computer is currently built with. Um, I'm going to talk about what I ordered and what my computer is going to be when it's done. So first video, that's basically what it is. I'm going to talk about all the computer parts I've bought, what I'm, I've ordered, what I'm going to be ordering, and how it's all going to be connected together. Um, most of the other videos will be assembly of the computer. Um, one of my best friends is going to be helping me with the video, uh, the recording, and the actual assembly. Um, so that'll be on my YouTube channel probably within the next two or three weeks. Um, I have some parts currently coming right now in the mail. Um, I should be getting those mid next week or so. Um, I also have some other parts I still have to order. Uh, but either way, I'm going to have everything categorized in the, the description with all the links to my computer parts for my build. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start talking with what my computer currently has, uh, what I'm currently using as hardware. Um, so right now, I currently, for, I'm going to start off with monitors since it's literally right in front of me. Uh, for monitors, I have an Acer VH. The 206 HQL 21 inch, I think, or so. And I have a Asus 23.6 inch monitor, which I actually don't have the thing in front of me, but I'll get to it. Um, so my computer, I'll start from when I actually ordered my stuff off Newegg, because most of my stuff I ordered was from Newegg, so I'm just gonna follow my list and go up. So for a cooler, aka like heatsink for my CPU, I have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. That's going to be in the description. Everything will be. Um, for my keyboard, I have a TT Esports Challenger Prime Backlit Gaming Keyboard. Um, so that's the gaming keyboard I'm using. If I could show you, I would, but I don't feel like moving the webcam. So that's going to stay there. Um, for current RAM for my system memory, I have a G-Skills RIPJAWS V-Series 16 gigs, 2x8 gig, 288 pin DDR RAM, SD RAM DDR4, 2133, Intel Z170 platform memory. For uh, SSD, my secondary SSD is a Munchkin Enhanced FCO3 2.5 inch 240 gigabyte SATA 3. Um, that's going to be in the description as well. I have a little two terabyte um, HTST Hitachi Ultra Star 7K 3000 um, refurbished 3.5 inch hard drive. So that's a physical, actual hard drive, not um, solid state. Um, do I want to talk about that part? So originally, when I first built the computer in October, I had an Intel Core i5 6600K. Um, which is a quad core Skylake. Um, so that's, I'll put that on the list. Um, I have a Roswell Capstone G Series 750 watt modular power supply, 80 plus gold certified. I always want to make sure you go uh, 80 plus gold. Um, as for motherboard, okay, so the Intel Core i5 6600K is what I had when I first built the computer, it's not what I have anymore. Um, the my the motherboard Gigabit G1 Sniper B7, which is an LGA 1151 B150 uh, chipset motherboard, is also a motherboard I had, so passed. Um, the case I'm currently using is a Roswell ATX full game case. It's the Rise Glow, to be more specific. Um, the first video card I had, also in the past, was a Gigabit GeForce GTX. Uh, 960 Extreme Edition, so the 4 gigabyte 128 bit GDR5 uh, Extreme Edition from uh, Gigabit. Um, that's what I was in the past. Um, then I was first using the Acer monitor at first when I first had the computer built up. I then proceeded to buy a second monitor, which is the Asus, which is the main one I'm looking at for my list, and that's the one the camera's on. Um, so that is a Asus VE 24-7H black, 23.6 inch, 2 millisecond response time. Uh, it has no display ports, it has a HDMI and a DVI, so right now it's using DVI. Um, I also bought a Samsung 950 Pro M.2 2280, 
256 gigabit. So that's the M.2 slot that most motherboards support nowadays. Older ones don't have that because it's old, but this is newer, so most motherboards have it. Um, I also bought a three terabyte HDST Ultrastar 7K 4000. Uh, yeah. I then also bought Corsair uh, Air Series AF120 LED 120mm Quiet Edition High Airflow Fan Twin Pack Purple. They're purple, by the way, purple LEDs. Um, also got some Arctic, Arctic Silver 5 at the same time, because at the same time I bought that stuff, I also bought the new i7 7700K processor, which is a Kaby Lake quad core uh, LG 1151 processor. So I replaced the i5 6600K with the uh, 7700K 7th gen processor using the Arctic Silver 5. I also installed the Corsair fans at the same time and the rest of that, the monitor, the SS, the M.2 SM, SSD and the 3TB uh, drive. After then realizing that still wasn't good enough for performance because I have some games that are very taxing on GPU and CPU wise, CPU fixed most of the uh, CPU taxing games, but my GPU, uh, I was told 960 would be good enough. I don't think it was. I proceeded to buy the Gigabit GeForce GTX 1070 Extreme Gaming. Um, so I bought that. So that's an 8 gig video card, a 256 bit, if I'm correct, GDDR5. Um, funny story, while trying to insert the i7 7700K Cabby Lake processor into my motherboard, I ended up bending a couple pins on the socket. Had to throw that board out. Ordered a new one. Still wasn't working. I honestly thought I've had fucked up the processor. I did not fuck up the processor. Processor was fine. The chipset, which is a B150, was not compatible with the 7th gen i7 processor, which is something I didn't look into before buying it. Shame on me. Um, I then proceeded to buy a new motherboard to solve that issue in order for uh, the, to be able to use it. So I got the Gigabit G8 Z270X Ultra Gaming, which is an LG 1151 Z270 chipset. Um, that's currently in there right now, so I have the GTX 1070 right now, the 16 gigs of RAM, the two solid state, not solid state drives, well, two solid state drives, one M.2, one SSD, and the two disk drives. Um, uh, so I have the GTX 1070 in there and the i7 7700K overclocked to 4.8. Standard's 4.2, Turbo's 4.5, but I'm pushing it to 4.8. Really risky thing to do. Uh, because about at 4.8, if it goes any higher than that, you can actually, well, your computer can actually shut down or overheat. Good thing my computer has seven case fans or something like that. So it's actually cool and idle. It goes at about 15 degrees Celsius. And I've seen people that stock idle speed is at like 40 or something. So I don't know why theirs is so high and mine's so low. I don't know if it's the Arctic Silver working its magic or if it's just the, uh, Cooler Master heatsink. Either way, I'm pretty happy with the i7 processor, same thing for the uh, GTX 1070 Extreme Gaming. I am possibly looking at getting the 1080 Ti Extreme Gaming Edition, or Extreme Edition. Um, and I'll get to that part why very soon. A lot of knickknacks here and there I'm working on for the computer. Um, I also ordered uh, two, three packs, no, yeah, so two packs of three... Corsair HD 120 RGB LED fans. Um, you guys will see why soon. Um, also bought a Monoprice Essential Triple Monitor Articulating Arm Desk Mount for three monitors. You guys will see why also next. Uh, so everything from the three Corsair fans are stuff that I'm are currently being shipped right now. So the motherboard's already in there, but the three Corsair fans and everything above is stuff that's on its way. So the fit. Six fans, I should say, are on their way. Uh, the monitor stand is on its way, which is one that actually clamps to the back of the desk. Um, I also bought the Corsair Gaming MM800 RGB Polaris mouse pad. That's on its way as well. I got a second motherboard, which is a Gigabit GAB150 and Phoenix Wi-Fi LG 1151. I'll explain why. Um, I got a Corsair Gaming MM300 Anti-Free Cloth Gaming Mouse Mat. I'll explain why as well. So I'm going to explain, I'll tell you all the parts I'm ordering and I'll explain why after. Um, I got a Corsair Gaming Scimitar RGB MOBA MMO Gaming Mouse. 
Um, just because this mouse here is... Oh yeah, that's right. This mouse here, I didn't get it on you. I actually bought it at my local the source. That's why I didn't speak about it. Whoops. It's, it has the mouse pad on the side and all that stuff, but I find uh, I could do better than this. Um, I also bought a Corsair Force MP500 M.2 2280 120 gigabyte. So that's another M.2, so the same, not the same one that I'm using for my main uh, M.2 drive on my current gaming rig, but it's a similar... Um, I'm actually going to adjust this. This is killing me. But it's similar to the one I'm currently using, only it's not a 256, it's a 120. Um, I also got another Roswell Capstone G Series 750 modular power supply. The same one I have in my gaming rig right now, so I bought another one of those. I also bought another Coolmaster Hyper 212 Evo. Now, on to the stuff I have yet to order. I still have to buy 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB memory that came out three weeks ago. So I still have to buy that. I still have my three brand new monitors to buy, which I actually don't have on this list, but I can easily pull them up in a second if you guys give me a second. Also, they're gonna be, it's gonna be three 27 inch monitors. I figured why not go big, go big or go home as they say. Uh, they're going to be 144 hertz refresh rates, one millisecond respond time. Um, super expensive, by the way. Actually, where are they? Oh, here they are. I was like, where the hell is it? I can't find them. Yeah, so it's the AOC G2770PQU black 27 inch 144Hz 1ms GTG professional gaming monitor. Um, it has D sub, DVI, HDMI, display port. Um, it's mountable, which is the important thing because I need it to be mountable uh, for the mount I'm gonna, uh, that's, I've ordered and that's coming in. And it has uh, built in speakers and USB hub so you can run your USB cables from the monitor to the back of your computer and then use the two ports on the monitor itself instead of having to continuously go and plug stuff into the bottom of your computer. That's something that's also going to be eliminated. I'll explain why in a second because I didn't tell you the other part I have yet to order. Um, so I'll be getting three of these monitors. I, then the last thing is the Lion or Lian Lee DK02 Black Aluminum Computer Desk. Now I'm going to talk about a bit about this computer. Um, very expensive computer case. It's a desk that allows you to have two separate computer systems inside of it and has a top glass sheet that you can look through. So that's why I'm ordering a second power supply, second motherboard, um, second M.2. That's essentially why I'm ordering uh, new RAM because the RGB Corsair RAM is going to be going into my gaming computer and I'll be taking the 16 gigs of G-Skills memory and that'll be going into the secondary computer which is going to be my server computer which is, is going to have the i5-6600K in it from the original gaming computer I built in October last year. Um, that's going to be going in there and what else am I missing here? Yeah, so I'm going to be using the three monitors on that stand. That's going to be on the Lion, Lian Lee DK02. Um, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo I ordered is going to be going on the second motherboard. The Corsair gaming mouse and... Uh, the, so basically the anti fray cloth gaming mouse mat that I got from Corsair, that's going to be going on top of the glass if I ever need to put my keyboard on it. Or if by actually at first I'll have to be put my monitors here on there because I haven't ordered those yet and I'll be getting the case before the new monitors. So essentially I'll be putting that on top and then I'll put my monitors on top of it just temporarily. Um, the new gaming mouse, I just wanted to replace this one because I'll probably still be using my gaming laptop on my this old desk here over there. So uh, I needed to at least have a mouse. So I ordered myself a new mouse. Um, I also got the mouse pad because it's also RGB and you can use it with uh, Q software which I'm also going to be getting a Corsair K70 keyboard. Um, the RGB 
uh, Corsair HD120 fans are for the Lee uh, Lee and Leak case because it has a glass top, so I want to be able to illuminate the inside and uh, show off my computer. Um, I also ordered uh, the Corsair Link off Corsair website to for the LG strips and the uh, Corsair Link control software, which is going to be pretty cool because I'll be able to control all the lights in my computer case that are hooked up to that link. So that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, the 32 gigs of RAM are going to be going on the Gigabit Ultra Gaming motherboard for my gaming rig. Uh, the 16 gigs I currently have are going to be going on the Gigabit GA B150 Phoenix Wi-Fi LG L151 motherboard. Um, Corsair fans are going in the Lee and Lee case. Hey, I actually got it right this time. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have left to order is the case, the 32 gigs of RAM, and the monitors. So the three most expensive things left. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'll actually be ordering the case very shortly. And uh, then I'll be proceeding to order the... Uh... Oh yeah. So I'll be ordering the case in like the next half hour or so. And I'll be ordering the Corsair memory within the same amount of time. Um, and in about two or uh, three weeks or so. Um, maybe four weeks, maybe even five weeks, I'll be ordering the uh, monitors and uh, I'll get those in and then I'll be doing a video for that assembly. So essentially video number one is this, me talking about the computer parts, what I have, what I don't have, what I'm ordering and what's going where. Um, video number two is going to be the assembly of the desk itself with my friend. Uh, video number t three will be uh, assembly of the computers in the case itself, maybe one at a time, so maybe I'll give them each a separate video for the assembly. So, three is assembly of computer one, four is assembly of computer two, uh, video number five will be probably adding the RGB stuff in the case. So, the uh, Corsair Link, the RGB HD 120 fans, um, and video number five or six will be the uh, mounting of the monitors and the the uh, monitor stand to the desk itself. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting all the links to all this stuff onto my, the description for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very uh, informative uh, video of my master master evil plans to. Uh, for my ultimate gaming rig slash server rig. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you guys will be uh, staying in touch for the video. And if you guys enjoyed it, and like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me why. If you guys think I should be getting some different parts, let me know soon before I order them. Or at least in this case, the only thing I have left to order is the monitors in the case and the RAM. So if you guys think I should be getting different RAM, let me know. If you guys think I should get a different case, let me know. If you guys think I should get different monitors, let me know. Tell me why. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Alright? So I'll see you guys on the next video.